Hey everybody. So as many of you know, um, last year I ended up selling all of my beekeeping and kind of got out of the beekeeping thing. I got a little burned out on it and uh, I sold 99% of my equipment. Uh, just wanted to get, get rid of it. Um, I have a lot of hobbies and things like that and interests and I learned a lot about beekeeping. Uh, but it was taking up a lot of money and a lot of time for me, so I decided, okay, I want to get out of it. Uh, I uh, had kept two hives, and uh, one of them died last year, and the other one made it through um, winter, and then they swarmed sometime in May, and uh, they never requeened, so that hive I lost, and I was like, I was okay with it because I was pretty much, you know, done. But I left the hive up um, and uh, just let it set there. And ants started, you know, taking on it. No, luckily, we don't have hive beetles here or anything like that. So I just left it in place. Um, I just wasn't going to spend any more on packages and, and uh, hives or anything like that anymore. I, I was pretty much done with it. Uh, so July 4th rolled around. And I was out here and I saw some activity around my hive and I thought, oh, that's getting robbed out. You know, finally something's coming in to take the rest of the honey. And uh, boy, it was a lot of activity. And uh, as it turns out, since it was an open hive, a swarm actually moved in. So as the, they say in the Godfather, I thought I was out, but they pull me back in. So I have a full thriving hive uh, coming in, uh, free, obviously. And uh, I even, it was funny, they moved in and I, uh, I had just thrown the, the hive together. That's not the configuration that I, that I normally use. Usually the, 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 the uh, medium is on top um, under a uh, uh, queen excluder, but uh, you know, I didn't have a chance to uh, move it. So there it is. Uh, they moved in and there are a ton of bees in there. They, it was a, probably a large swarm that, that moved in. So, you know, good for them. They found a home and I'm um, happy to keep them. Um, I waited a week after they, or probably nine days after they moved in and I gave them a dose of oxalic acid vapor. Um, probably uh, I was probably just a tad late they probably they might have capped some uh, eggs already but it is a thriving colony nonetheless so I am back doing beekeeping again even on a just a very very limited basis again but I thought you guys might enjoy uh, the funny that um, that you know you, you think you're out and uh, they they pull you right back in so I thought it was funny. So I ended up, you know, it's, uh, oh, well, right now it's, I think the 19th of July right now. So they moved in a couple of weeks ago and uh, there's a dearth going on. There's not a lot of flowers, so they're kind of, uh, we had a lot of rain, but uh, not a lot of flowers out right now. And, uh, so I had a couple of supers of honey that I never extracted uh, just because I was just tired of beekeeping, but I kept them around and so I set them out for them and they are having a ball here, uh, taking out the honey. Um, so getting them fed up, I'm sure they're enjoying the hell out of it. As a new hive, they starve for food, I'm sure. So figured I'd help them out a little bit. I'm not putting out any sugar water. The expensive sugar and, and doing all that was just very, very expensive nowadays. Just not really worth it in my book. Like I said, I love beekeeping, but I used a pound of honey in two years. And I am not one to go sit around at a flea market and sell honey. Uh, so I just ended up having just tons of honey that I just really couldn't ever get rid of. So uh, it's kind of a wasted effort on, on my part unless you really want to get into it and do that. 
uh, as a husband and wife team or something like that. I don't know. But it sure was fun for quite a few years, and I learned so much. And I learned who needs a retirement account. So, that's it. I guess I'm back as a hobbyist beekeeper again. Till next time, take care. Go enjoy the outdoors.